India has just taken a major leap in its nuclear energy journey. Last week, fuel loading began into the most advanced nuclear reactor, the Prototype Fast Breeder Reactor or PFBR, located in Tamil Nadu's Kalpakam. This is an essential milestone on the road to commissioning the reactor. Hello and welcome to The Print. My name is Somya Pillai and I'm here to explain the PFBR technology and break down how this reactor is on track to realize India's nuclear energy ambitions. The Atomic Energy Regulatory Board granted approval earlier this month and the fuel loading started on 18th October. Senior officials now say that the activity is nearly complete and the reactor is expected to achieve what is known as the first criticality within the next six to seven months. Full operations are targeted for the end of 2026. This fast breeder reactor represents a new technological frontier for India. It is central to India's aspirations to eventually meet its nuclear energy needs independently. Experts have described the development as a historic moment for India's clean energy ambitions and a leap in advanced self-reliant nuclear technology. To understand why this matters, it helps to unpack the science. Unlike conventional reactors, a fast breeder reactor not only generates electricity, it also produces more nuclear fuel than it consumes. It uses fast neutrons and liquid sodium as coolant, and the reactor core is surrounded by a layer of fertile material such as uranium-238. During operations, fast neutrons convert this into new fissile fuel. That is the principle behind the name, breeder reactor, because it breeds fuel as it runs. India's PFBR is designed to deliver 500 megawatts of electricity and uses mixed oxide fuels that contains plutonium and uranium recovered from spent fuel. What makes this even more strategic is how it links to India's abundant thorium reserves. Thorium cannot directly power a reactor. However, inside a fast breeder setup, thorium-232 can be transformed into uranium-233, which is a powerful fissile fuel. Government documents highlight that this approach will become the crucial stepping stone to the third stage of India's nuclear program, where thorium is used to its full potential. The PFBR has been a long-term national project. Construction began in 2004 and several deadlines were missed. Engineers faced unique technical challenges during commissioning because this is a first-of-its-kind system for India. According to senior officials, those issues have now been resolved and progress since 2024 has been strong. Earlier this year, the government announced the nuclear energy mission for Vikasit Bharat, setting a goal for expanding nuclear power generation to 100 gigawatts by 2047. Bringing the PFBR online is an integral part of that mission. The government has also stressed that safety has been a core design principle for PFBR. The PFBR incorporates passive safety systems that can shut down the reactor automatically if needed, even without human or mechanical interventions. It also plays a key role in reducing long-lived nuclear waste by reusing spent fuel from earlier reactors. That means significantly less land is needed for waste disposal over time. With fuel loading close to completion, all eyes are now on the next phase, when the reactor achieves first criticality. This is when a controlled, self-sustaining fission chain reaction begins. Once that happens, the reactor will gradually move towards electricity generation after completing regulatory checks and final testing. The PFBR is more than a single reactor project. It represents a technological threshold, and if successful, it will open the path to a fleet of breeder reactors that can power India with cleaner energy and make the country far more self-reliant in the decades ahead. That was all from me. I am Somya Pillai, and you were watching The Print.